guys, it's Kids Books by David, and today I'm going to read you pages 56 through 60 of Dire Wimplicate number 1 by Jeff Penny. When 3 o'clock rolled around, we looked outside to see if anyone had showed up. And sure enough, there were about 20 neighborhood kids waiting in line outside Rowley's basement. Now I know our flyers had admission was 50 cents, but I could see that we had a chance to make a killing here. So I told the kids that the admission was two bucks, and the 50 cent thing was just a typo. The first kid to to cough up his two bucks was, Sn was Shane Snella. He paid his money and we let him inside, and me and Rowdy took our positions in the Hall of Screams. The Hall of Screams was basically a bed with me and Rowdy on either side of it. Rawr! Rawr! Guess maybe we made the hot screams a little too scary. Cause halfway through, Shane curled up into a ball underneath the bed. We tried to crawl. We tried to get him to crawl from under there, but there was, but he wouldn't budge. I started losing. I started thinking about all the money we were losing with this kid clogging up the hot screams, and I knew we had to get him out of there quick. Eventually, Rowdy the Dad came downstairs. At first, I was happy to see him because I thought he could help us drag Shane from under the bed and get our haunted house cranking again. But Riley's dad wasn't in it, wasn't really in a helpful mood. Poke, poke. Riley's dad wanted to know we what we were doing and why Shane Snello was curled up under the bed. We told him that the basement was a haunted house and that Shane Snello actually paid for us, paid for us to do this to him. But Rowley's dad didn't believe us. I admit that if you looked around, it, it didn't really look like a haunted house. All we had time to put together was the hollow screams of the lake of blood which was just Rowley's old baby pool with a half bottle of ketchup in it. I tried to show Rowley's dad what our original plan to prove that we were really, that we really were running a legitimate, a legitimate operation, but it still didn't seem convinced. And to make a long story short, that was the end of our haunted house. The good news is, since Rowdy's dad didn't believe us, he made us refund his money. So at least we cleared two bucks today. Sunday. Rowdy ended up getting grounded for that haunted house mess yesterday. And he's not allowed to watch TV for a week. And he's not allowed to ha have me over at his house during that time. The last part, the last part really isn't fair because that's punishing me and I didn't even do anything wrong. And now where, where am I supposed to play my video games? Anyway, I felt kind of bad for Rowdy, so tonight I tried to make it up to him. I turned on one of Rowdy's favorite TV shows and I did a play by play over the phone so he could kind of experience it that way. Wow, look at that. Look at the size of that flamethrower. Oh, yeah. Never mind. That's all I'm going to read you today. Hope you like it, enjoy it, or anything else. And stay tuned for pages 61 through 65 of Dad Won't Be Kid Number One with Jeffrey.